What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. FantasyTeamAdvisors.com bringing home the bacon NBA DFS video. It is Monday. It is December 18th, and we are back. We are one week from Christmas. We're very excited. We are back with a, a good chunk of games, 11 games on a Monday. So you know what that means. Anytime more than five games, we've got each position in this article, which you can see right here. And if you've never been here before, if we have more than five games, we have three top, three mid, and three value picks at each position. Now, the value picks will open up throughout the day. Some players are game time decisions. Some players are probable. Some players are, you know, on that fence. Once that news comes out, those value picks will jump up. Now, these are the initial ones we project out during the day. Uh, these projections are basically floor projections. Once news comes out, obviously they will get more. Um, so we have a ton to offer on the site. If you just look, we have simulations, which you can check out. We've got DFS minutes played, so it's every single team, all the depth charts. It shows who has played how many minutes, the last three, five, and ten games, and then it breaks it out. So it's very easy. It 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 will show you, you know, on average, if you're you know on the fence between two players, it'll show you who's playing the more minutes or averaging more minutes. Um, obviously injuries happen, technical fouls happen, ejections happen, but it's just another tool. Uh, the points allowed by position, which we will go over after we go over the article. Vegas odds make sense. Uh, our top plays now these are both FanDuel and DraftKings. Um, they are top plays via either implied team totals or uh, DVP. And there's, you know, just like BVP in baseball, some people love DVP, some people don't. So it's just another tool for you. Uh, we've got player projections, which we put out later in the day just to kind of wait for some news to come out. So these are just some of the projections we're going to go over. We have every single player that has a chance to play today. We have those projected out. We have chalk. So, mean what is chalk? So, if you play cash or tournaments, chalk is showing you the players, their projections, and what the projected ownership is. Now, with cash, obviously the higher ownership player at each position, you kind of want to follow the trend because you're playing cash. Like 50-50s, you're just trying to cash. So, you're just trying to play with the field and be kind of even with the field. If you're playing tournaments, you want to see those... Um, the ownership percentage and you want to go lower so you want to use the lower owned guys because you're trying to get a, a a little bit of advantage on the field so that's kind of what we're looking at and with cash and tournaments cash you're looking for at least six to six and a half times value meaning whatever their salary is they've got to score six times their salary six and a half times their salary to feel comfortable with cash and then tournaments you're looking at seven seven and a half eight times value on the day then we have our cheat sheet so each position uh, we have usually four or five cash and four or five tournament options and then some leverage plays and then our NBA bets if you go to fantasyteamadvisors.com FTA plus we don't have bets every day like we didn't have bets yesterday because I didn't I'm not just gonna put bets out there to give you bets it's if I feel comfortable so we have bets with NFL uh, but we also have with NBA. So we have an algorithm. If, if you've been following us, we have an AI algorithm. Uh, hit pretty well this week for NFL. Uh, Derrick Henry was the one that screwed our algorithm up. He had 20 touches and less than 15 yards, which is wild of a stat. I don't know if it's ever happened before like that of a player of his caliber. So our bets are there. You can check out FTA Plus, FantasyTeamAdvisors.com. Sign up, DFS and sports betting along with NBA and NFL as well. So I do believe PGA is taking a break until after, uh, I think it's like J January 4th will be the next tournament. So it's a couple week break for Christmas. So as of now, we have MLB and NBA. Uh, moving on into February, we'll have NASCAR and then our best sport in March and on baseball. I'm very excited to ramp up for baseball so if there's anything you guys and if you've been here before if there's anything you guys have been looking for baseball wise let us know to see if i can implement that next year so that being said we do have a couple of ways to win a membership uh, as you know anytime any video gets at least 50 likes you leave a comment you are a youtube subscriber you have a chance to win a week free of dfs content 100 likes is a month free 
125 likes is a year free and anytime any video gets at least 50, 150 likes you leave a comment you are a YouTube subscriber you have a chance to win a lifetime pass normally worth $499 the second way right now like the video leave a comment of what player you think is going to score the most amount of fantasy points on this slate and how many DraftKings fantasy points you've got to have the player and the amount of points if you get both of those correct you will win a free week of DFS content now uh, on Saturday we had <clears throat> I'm, I'm not going to toot my own horn but we did have a couple of people go Embiid someone said 70 or 69 fantasy points out of Embiid Embiid got 70.25 the guy I told you about and I, if you can go back I said I think this guy will score a lot of points today was Carl Anthony Towns he ended up scoring 72 fantasy points he had the most amount of fantasy points no one picked him I picked him but if, if you're here I've been pretty good at when I think a player is going to score X amount of points. The other day I thought, um, you know, certain players would score the most, and they did. So I, I just feel the, the way our algorithm works, the way, you know, I've been playing DFS for 10 years now, um, very excited. Um, so again, let me know who you think is going to score the most amount of DraftKings fantasy points and how many fantasy points. If whoever gets closest without going over will be the winner. So, that being said, we're going to go over the article that's on the screen right now. At the end of it, if you would click on the article, which is down below in the description, that would help me out immensely. Also, we have our Discord link in the description as well. We're trying to get more interaction on the Discord. People have been joining, but no one has been saying anything. So, I put some bets over there. I also put bets on our Twitter, at advisors underscore team. So, that being said, let's jump into the article. So, looking at this. Right at point guard, we've got Luca here. We've got him about 60 fantasy points. Again, I wouldn't be surprised if he goes for 70. Um, it just, these are floor projections. We're not going to project someone out for 75, 80 fantasy points. It's just not going to happen. Um, we got SGA at 52. We got Darius Garland, 38. Mid tier, we got Spencer Dinwiddie at 37. Cam Thomas, 34. Russell Westbrook, 31. And then your value, we got Dennis Schroeder at 30. We've got Mike Conley at 30. We've got Jaden Ivey at 25. Moving to the shooting guard position, you got Donovan Mitchell at 48 fantasy points. Desmond Bain, 43. Terry Rozier at 43. Now, Rozier is questionable, but the last tag I saw this morning, he is probable for this game. So, might not be 100% going into this game, but we've got him projected right around 43. Then we've got mid-tier. we got Colin Sexton, 34. Jordan Poole, 33. Malik Monk, 33. And then your value, DeAnthony Melton, 28. Benedict Matherin at 28. And Duncan Robinson at 27 fantasy points. Moving to the uh, small forward, LeBron James is questionable right now. Um, it, I think he's going to carry that questionable tag every single day. I think he's going to play. Um, he had the questionable tag the other day when he was playing... San Antonio, and he didn't look hurt. Um, I just think that he's going to carry that all, all the time. Uh, you got Scotty Barnes at 45 fantasy points. Kawhi Leonard, 43. Mid-tier, Dante Exum at 32. Michael Porter Jr., 32. Max Struess at 32. And then your value picks. As of now, again, value will open up and change throughout the day. Uh, Talon Horton Tucker, 29. Tari Eason at 29. And Bruce Brown at 29. Moving to the power forward, another one just like LeBron. I think Anthony Davis is going to have that questionable tag every single day. We've got him at 51 fantasy points. we got Carl Anthony Towns at 43, my man who I said was going to score, and he did. We've got him at 43, and then Julius Randle at 41. Uh, Mid-tier, Jaron Jackson Jr. at 40. Miles Bridges, 40. DeMar DeRozan at 40. And then value picks as of now, Keegan Murray, where I was all over Keegan Murray the other night. And you can watch the video. And he hit 11 straight three-pointers. Uh, I think it was Saturday. 11 straight three-pointers. Um, the most amount of points out of a player. Let's see. Keegan Murray had 70 fantasy points. So he was just behind Carl Anthony Towns um, by two. He had 47 actual points. 33 of those came from threes. He hit... 12 of 15 threes, he had 11 straight, which is nuts. 
Um, and you got Caleb Martin at 32, and then Denny Adija at 32. And then your center position, you got Joel Embiid at 58. You got Nikola Jokic at 56, which is kind of weird. You usually never see Jokic as not the number one projected center position. Uh, that's the case today. Uh, again, 56 is pretty low for him. Uh, he goes for 75, he goes for 80 sometimes. Um, I'm not saying he's going to today, but he's in a good spot today. And then we got uh, Sabonis at 47, mid-tier, Nikola Vucevic at 40, Chet Holmgren 36, Rudy Gobert 36, and then your value picks, Daniel Gafford 29, Walker Kessler 29, and Kevin Love 29 fantasy points. Now, those are just some of the projections. If you would be awesome and click the link down below on this article so I know you guys are looking at them. That would be awesome. But we have even more projections, uh, usually out midday. Uh, I want to give some time for midday, same with simulations. Um, we have a ton to offer on the site. So you can check out everything we have to offer on the site here. NFL, we have even more uh, going through. Obviously, it's Monday night. Once today, Once Monday's done, Tuesday we'll start rolling out the um, you know, Vegas odds. We'll start rolling out some of our content. We move forward. So I only work my regular 40 hour job, uh, until Wednesday and then I'm off the rest of the year. So I'm very excited to, uh, put out more content this coming week, especially since playoffs are here. So if you're still in the playoffs, let me know how you've done. Um, I have, uh, <clears throat> I have Tyler Lockett going. I'm up. I think I'm up 25 and I have Tyler Lockett going tonight. And he has DeAndre Swift. Uh, so I'm not I'm not gonna say anything, but I'm in a good spot at the moment. Um, I sat Tua for Matthew Stafford. Stafford didn't have his best day, but he did outscore Tua. Um, but yeah, uh, very excited for this week. Uh, NFL is here. We're gonna be into week 16, which I'm kind of upset about because we're already. Like, this football season has gone by quick. Like, football's my favorite, um, second favorite. Baseball, obviously. With baseball, we have every single day. And you guys know our videos went hard last year. 45-minute breakdown videos almost every single day, which is a lot of work. So every like, every comment is very much appreciated. So that being said, that's today's NBA article. We will have the other NBA content out throughout the day that will trickle out throughout the day once news comes out. So very excited. If you have questions, get those down below. Um, you can email me dfshelp1 at gmail.com. That's dfshelp, the number one, at gmail.com. Or you can hit us up on Twitter at advisors underscore team. But let's get a conversation going, whether or not it's in the chat here or it's on Discord. So that's what I've got in this video. Good luck today. And as always, let's bring home some bacon. Peace.